Hi, my name's Caitlin. I'm the grass-fed girl. I'm a holistic nutritionist and personal trainer, and I just wanted to talk to you today about some grain-free restaurant tips. So if you're on a paleo, SCD, GAPS diet, you know, it's hard to eat out. And um, so sometimes you have to think ahead and really prepare before you go. Um, and sometimes, I mean, if you're really a celiac and you're really sensitive or you have an autoimmune disease, you know, it may not be a good idea to eat out really at all because it's just such a, uh, a problem with gluten uh, contamination. So you might just wanna really just plan ahead if you do go out to eat. So um, one thing you can do is to read about the restaurant beforehand. If you're on the internet, a great website is called Yelp. You can look on there and find some tips uh, about the restaurant you're going to look at the menu decide what you're gonna get you don't want to get there and then the, the waiter comes and you're just like a deer in headlights oh my gosh what am I gonna get and everyone's looking at you like hurry up hurry up you know so we really want to think ahead and think about what you're gonna get and you want to ask a lot of questions to the server you know what do you cook your food in you know you don't want to be getting all those genetically modified rancid soybean oil corn oil canola oil you know I like to ask for my food to be cooked in butter or I ask for them to, you know, just broil it with no, um, with nothing on it. And then I bring my own butter in my purse, or I also carry a little tiny bottle of olive oil sometimes. And um, I know it's a good one. So I can put that on my food or on my salad because also the salad dressings are full of rancid oil. So um, a lot of times even the olive oil is mixed with canola or um, something else and it's so it's a 50 50 mix because restaurants are always trying to save money so you always want to make sure that you are smart about that and I mean it's not gonna kill you I mean hope hopefully if you have a little tiny bit because most of the time you're eating a good fat at home so it's I think it does uh, take away you know I think when you eat a little bit of soybean oil or something but most 99% of the time you're eating good fats like butter and coconut oil um, fat from grass-fed animals egg yolks <laughs> that you it won't be the end of the world but that just depends on your level of health so you just have to be you know careful and know your limits um, another good thing to do is to bring some sea salt I love to bring sea salt in my purse and I put it on my food it has tons of good minerals um, it can really make you feel just awesome and your food is just wonderful. It's really good for if you're really tired, adrenal fatigue, you can just put some in some water. Let's, um, the other thing I do is always say like, no bread basket. You know, even if you're not a celiac, you still don't want to be eating bread. So it's just, you don't want that temptation there um, because you know that the bread basket is just going to be calling your name. So you just want to say no bread basket and hopefully the other people at the table won't mind and they'll support you. So um, the other thing you can do is um, ask for wild fish. It's really important to try to get wild fish. Um, ask where the fish is coming from because uh, you want to get you know, wild salmon or local fish that they have from around there. If it's a coastal area, it was really good. So just ask, you know, where is the fish? Where do you get it from? So that's a good thing. And the other thing to do is um, also, you want to just really just plan ahead and ask a lot of questions and be really friendly because the person that's taking your order is going to be um, sensitive if you have an attitude and you know you really want them to be, have your back and you want to be nice to them so that they will be sympathetic and you know there's also the celiac card it's a gluten-free card app you can show you can print it out or you can show it at the restaurant it's in like, all these different languages so you can look that up and print that out so that you know you may be in, a, in an ethnic restaurant and you may not um, you may not be able to communicate well with your waiter so you might want to print that out and show that to them or use your iPhone to change the language and um, and then you can show it to them so really just that's what I do when I go to a restaurant and I also try to one more thing I thought of is to get some 
the best quality meats you can. You know, if you're looking online before you go, you can find uh, places that have grass-fed beef a lot of times, um, or you can just do the best you can to get the best quality meat that you can. And you know, if you're if you can't, just don't stress out about it. Just do your best when you're at home. But you know, always try to um, get the very best quality that's available in your area at restaurants. Um, so anyway, I'm the Grassfed Girl. I have a blog at grassfedgirl.com. I'm a holistic nutritionist. It was great talking to you tonight. Have a good day.